Hey guys, how's it going? This is some guy, and today I'll be giving my opinion on uh, an artist that's new to me, Uncle Bao, Fresh Hot Buns. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm continuing to just rattle through the few that I had saved that were relatively new releases. This came out within the last week. Um, I believe he is associated with or friendly with Northern Boys uh, and Pete and Baz. Um, I saw Pete and Baz live actually uh, before Christmas at Electric Brixton. It was a very entertaining gig, very, very good. Um, and uh, P uh, PKJ and um, Nor Norman Payne were supporting. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd, I'd give, them, give them a go because if, if they're sort of associated, I'm hoping he's good. So uh, let's jump in. Up a pom pom, the bakery section sells fresh hot buns. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> I just did the clavish reaction, and uh, it's just a very different vibe. I wasn't really like in the mindset for this kind of thing. Okay, let's get in the zone. I rub a pom pom, the bakery section sells fresh. Fire. It's just hitting. I rub a pom pom, the bakery section sells fresh hot buns. If you need dough, make bread. Got the big stack weighing in two tons. Okay, if you need dough, make bread. Bit of a play on words there. Hot buns. If you need dough, make bread. Got the big stack weighing okay. in two tons. Wow. Big boss money making. A little taste of the cakes I'm baking. This is a whole baking scheme going on here. I was talking about the dough, bread, it's like money references, drug references, but then he's carrying on. Okay. Wow. It seems like a parody, right? It's uh, too fair. The first time I heard Pete and Baz, I had the same feeling, and then I realised they're no joke. So maybe this guy's the same. Big boss, money making, a little taste of the cakes I'm baking. No time for time wasting, ladies. No, I'm charming, no snaking. Hey, okay, okay. I'm charming, no snaking. That's that's clever. Like he's referring to like a snake charmer, I think. Then obviously. Implying as well that he's not a snake, he's a charmer. Okay. No time for time wasting, ladies. No, I'm charming, no snaking. I'm vaping, also oh, venomous. And another, and he's obviously referencing, I think, the snake again there with venomous. Ladies, no, I'm charming, no snaking. I'm vaping, also venomous. Bought a new suit from Debenhams. The Lebanese call me. Oh man. I'm sorry, this is going to be one I keep pausing because. <laughs> Is he a little bit of a joke? I feel like he's not taking himself too seriously, whereas Pete and Baz, once you get over the fact that they're old guys rapping, they are quite, they are really, like pretty serious, I would say. I bought a suit from Debenhams. <laughs> also venomous, bought a new suit from Debenhams. The Lebanese call me brethren since I formed the trade links in the Lebanon. Got a little melanin, cellophane. Oh, this is good. This is so good. Where's he from then? I don't know where he's from. I don't know if he's from Lebanon or if he just has business there or if that's just made up. Uh. I formed the great links in the Lebanon. Got a little melanin. Set a fan in the hey, shop. I'm going play on melanin and melanin. Could be reaching there, but if so, slick. Links in the Lebanon. Got a little melanin, sell a fan in the shop I'm selling in. 24 carat white gold wedding right to the Punjab on the back of an elephant. Okay. Top salary. Sweetest bars taste like jalebi. I don't know what jalebi is. Let me know. I'm assuming I am I'm, I'm assuming he's got roots that are not in the UK, based on things he's saying. So it'd be cool to know where he's or where his family are from if it's if it's not where he's from. <laughs> Top salary, sweetest bars taste like jalebi. Got a new recipe, it goes down quite well with the shot of Hennessy. Eat Mubarak if you're celebrating Ramadan. Mm -hmm. Ride the Silk Road on a caravan. From I mean, basically references to trade links, trade routes now, the Silk Road. Mubarak if you're celebrating Ramadan. Ride the Silk Road on a caravan. From Bangladesh to New Delhi, then head was tested for the center of Pakistan. Mm -hmm. Break it down, tectonic. Break if you're it down, tectonic. All right. Okay. Got some geography bars here. Talk about tectonic plates if, you, if you're not uh, going to pick up on that. Head was destined for the center of Pakistan. 
Break it down, tectonic. If you're buying gin, then I recommend tonic. I got a lot of gold rings, sonic. Mm. Fat wad of cash in the back of my wallet. Mm. Cheese, Wallace, mm. Gromit, Silver Plate, B on the front of my bonnet. Money in bonds, quantum solace. Oh, and then man, I'm... this guy can spit though. Like he's a. I feel like he is deliberately not taking himself completely seriously, unless I'm wrong, unless I'm just misunderstanding, but it works. And he's got some bars though. Like I did even point out that like, he's talking about coins, Sonic, cheese, Wallace, and Gromit. And then this. Silver plate B on the front of my bonnet, money in bonds, quantum money bonds, quantum solace. That's that's pretty slick. I was referencing James Bond in the film Quantum of Solace there. Wallace, Gromit, silver plate B on the front of my bonnet, money in bonds, mm. quantum solace, and then I meditate by myself mm. in the film. Oh, I don't know where this guy's from. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's probably obvious to a lot of people. Uh, what is this? This is Punjabi. Wait. Is this Punjabi? Oh, Punjabi is a... Sorry, that's a place, isn't it? Okay. So that is India. So I'm assuming he's from India, right? So yeah, okay. I'm I'm gonna assume that, but do tell me if I'm incorrect. Oh, they, he did mention New Delhi, and he but he also mentioned Pakistan. So okay, but some somewhere in that region of the world. Sounds, but it sounds hard. Bring it back one time. If you've got a girl, then I make her mine. Herbal tea, that's how I unwind. Documentaries on real life crime. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime. For them trading in my spare time. My brother got a Bitcoin mine. Cold storage, cryptos mm. online. Okay. And that's that. If you've got a weapon, then I wouldn't use that. Use your fist if you want to have a scrap. And if you're going bold, then I've got a nice hat. Don't bet on. Your... You see what this is what I mean? Like. He sounds like low key quite gangster, and then he drops a line like that, like the Debenham suit line. I mean, I'm pretty sure Debenhams is like shut down, isn't it now? And he's like, <laughs> "Have a hat if you're bald." Use your fist if you want to have a scrap, and if you're going bald, then I've got a nice hat. Don't bet and yawn on the birthday mm. bash. Looking for a wife, I'll shower you with cash. Real smooth skin, no fake eyelash. Swiping left till I find my Bucks. max. I mean, you know, each to their own, but I, I always think fake eyelashes look just look weird, personally. I'm, I'm with you, Uncle Bal. How are you with cash? Real smooth skin, no fake eyelash. Swiping left till I find my match. <laughs> uh, what, what do I say after that? My match. Um... I mean, it was actually sick. Like there were multiple slick lines in there. I really like the beat. It sounded really good. Uh, and I like that it, I think isn't being taken too seriously, even though he is actually good. Um, it seemed a little bit more, uh, a bit less serious than Pete and Baz. Not, not that Pete and Baz are like, you know, really dark or anything, but I feel like they, they don't tend to make like joke lines like that. But that was fire. Like that was like I could I could play that again and listen to it just like musically. That was, sounded really good. So um yeah, glad I reacted to that. Uh let me know if he's got any other tracks. I think I had a brief look through the comments beforehand and it, I think this is one of his first songs. So there might not be any others, but let me know if there are. Um but yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'd really appreciate a like, comment, or subscribe. And otherwise I'm out.